Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to connect your cell phone to your GNSS receiver and use it, the data on your GNSS, for your apps in your cell phone. Uh, this only works for Android devices with the ability to use mock location. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, quite, it, mock location has been available to use on phones as far back as like the Samsung S9, probably even further. Uh, look it up for yourself. But most new cell phones should have this ability if it's Android. So I would pull out your cell phone and we'll go through some steps here. Okay, you need to go to your settings. So scroll down from the top, hit your gear button, and then we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. So I have this little thing here called developer options, but to enable that, if you don't have that, don't worry about it. What you need to do is go into your about phone and we are going to go into, oh boy, I believe software. Oh no, I'm gonna have to look this up again. I believe it's build. Yeah, there we go, it's build number. So it says no need, development mode's already been enabled. What you're gonna do is you're gonna like press that one, two, three, four, five, six, I, it's, it's a few times, but you just click it over, it'll actually give you a countdown once you start clicking on it. And then it will say, congratulations, you have uh, developer mode enabled. And then developer options will be right here. So once you have that, you click on this button you scroll on mine it's to the bottom but on my other phone it's actually near the top but just i'm going to scroll to the bottom and there it is right there it's under the location um so this thing right here select mock location app now that's what you're going to do and you're going to select one of these three options these are different softwares i have installed on my phone that can uh, inject gps data out of the software and so what you're going to do is you're going to now download GPS connector. So you're going to go to your the Play Store or download however you like and get this app right here, GPS connector. And then we're going to connect to one of your um, GNSS receivers that has Bluetooth. Now that's a setting that I'm not going to go over because if you are looking to do this, you probably know how to use your GP, uh, Bluetooth functionality on your GNSS systems already. Um, they're all very straightforward. Usually it's like a serial port, Bluetooth out. Um, you just have to simply enable um, it out to like an NMEA string um, through Bluetooth. Uh, I, like on this one, you just simply enable Bluetooth and I connect to it and there's GPS data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect this guy and I doubt I will have GPS signal in here cause I am in a basement, but we will try it anyways. Mock location is on, you're using mock location. I have two GPS's in my basement. That's not bad, <laughs> could be better. Um, so you can see that we're getting messages here. You can go over to the terminal here. This is actually really cool for if you wanna like uh, interact with other stuff, um, just to look at the messages you're getting. Um, it's, it's just a parser and you can actually pause this at any time. You can actually also save it with this app too, which I've used, it's actually, it works quite well. Um, so we are just getting the GPGGA, which is time and date. Um, if we got a couple more, maybe we could get a fixed position, but it doesn't look like it wants to do that right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go throw this thing outside and I'm gonna come back. And there we go. So I don't have my uh, base station connected to it, so we just have standard GPS, but if it was RTK, um, you would actually tell you right here your GPS. Uh, it, it, instead of GPS, it would say fix. Uh, so now you have all your information here and you can see that it's actually connected, although mine is just barely because I just threw it in my window. Um, let's just go to an app. So now you're going to be selecting, go back to this select mock location app and you're gonna select GPS connector. You can now use that GPS for any app on your cell phone, including uh, this Fish Deeper app, which happens to work pretty cool. And this guy is really simple. If you connect this guy, and you go back to the app, and you go into boat mode, it'll actually use the GPS of your cell phone, which is also using your GNSS receiver or your in PPK or RTK mode, whatever you want to do. Either way, I hope this worked for you guys and uh, it helped show you uh, how everything worked. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.